Hi, and thanks for watching. This is Matthew Coates at West USA Realty Revelation. I'm a real estate consultant, and today I'm going to be talking to you about what to do to sell your home for top dollar in this market. If for some reason you're not selling your home, these are some things that you can do to improve the value of your home and make it more marketable when it does come time to sell. So first thing is to disassociate yourself from the home. Realize that when you put your home up for sale, that it's no longer your home, but it's your future buyer's home. And as such, you should look at it as a commodity to be bought and sold, much like a box of cereal at the grocery store. It's no longer your home. Secondly, depersonalize your home. I can't tell you how many homes that I've walked into and the seller has religious paraphernalia just everywhere. Uh, kitchen, in the bathrooms, in the master bedroom, and the buyer just really has a hard time getting past how religious and holy these people are because there's so many distractions with uh, crosses and all those kinds of things. Uh, not to pick on religious par paraphernalia, but this also includes family heirlooms and family pictures. Family photos was a big one for most of us because we all love our families. We want to showcase um, how beautiful and wonderful they are and the vacations we've taken and the accomplishments that we've been involved with. But when you've got those things up, people look at them as someone else's home. And when they, they look at that and they see what a beautiful family you have, they don't really see themselves there. And ultimately, that's what you want, is for them to envision themselves in your home. And if, if they think it's somebody else's home, that just can't happen. The minor repairs that need to be done, those are things you want to take care of. Uh, the little holes in the walls, leaky faucets, uh, if the, there's light bulbs that need to be replaced, replace them. Uh, colors to use for your interior. You may want to consider repainting the interior of your home to make it appealing to the average buyer. And the kind of colors the average buyer is looking for nowadays, neutrals. Cream color, eggshell, those types of colors uh, create a sense of warmth in your home. You really want to make your home sparkle and shine. Regardless of how wonderful and great and how much money you've invested in upgrades are, if you've got smudgy windows or if you have dirt off in a corner of your tile floor or if there's something that uh, is left to be desired, you've got some disorganization in some of your items, um, you want to address those. It's the little things, you know, those things could take away who knows what, and you can't even put a dollar figure on it, but just missing those little items could cost you the sale of your home. How's the curb appeal of your home? You know, a buyer makes a snap judgment about your home within about five to seven seconds of when they pull up, and they look at the curb appeal and judge the rest of the entire home based on that. So, is your lawn manicured? Have you been trimming the bushes? Are the weeds pulled? Um, maybe you should consider getting a pressure washer and pressure wash off the walkway altogether. Um, do you have potted plants out front? Um, one of the things you might want to consider doing is getting potted plants, putting them together out front, but making those plants uh, somewhat of a gold color or a yellow color. And the reason yellow is such a strong color is it's an emotional uh, buying signal and evokes a sense of buying emotion in the person person viewing the home, your your buyer previewing the home, and may lead to uh, more likely of a sale. It's subconscious, so most people don't catch that. As far as remodeling goes, if you've got money to put in and invest in remodeling, the best places to do that in your home is in the kitchen and bathrooms. That is what sells home homes nowadays. So you may want to consider uh, upgrading from linoleum flooring to tile. Um, which 12 inch is the smallest you want to go. If you're in a really nice neighborhood, 18 inch. You may want to do some kind of a travertine. Uh, if you're in a really expensive neighborhood, wood flooring. Um, granite countertops, Corian countertops, tile countertops are nice. As far as bathrooms are concerned, two of the things you don't want to have in your bathroom is carpet and brass. Those show dating and aging of the home, and they are not attractive at all to today's sophisticated and savvy buyer. Do you have ceiling fans in all the bedrooms? Uh, that's one of the things that's just about expected with the average buyer today. So if you just got a ceiling fan in your master bedroom, you might want to consider placing them in the other bedrooms as well. And lastly, does your home have popcorn on the ceilings? Uh, that also shows dating and the money invested in scraping and retexturing the ceilings in your home of the popcorn will probably be recouped and it, it's definitely much more visually appealing to the average buyer. So 
my offer to you today or anyone watching this video is if you live in the Phoenix area and you're considering selling your home in the next six months is I'm willing to provide a consultation come to your home and make recommendations on what exactly you should do for your specific situation in order to make your home as attractive as possible for your buyer. So uh, you can email me, Matthew at WestUSA.com. Uh, visit my website, which is MatthewTheRealtor.com. I'm also on Twitter, Realtor Matthew, and of course I'm on Facebook as well. So I look forward to hearing from you, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video from Matthew Coates, your personal real estate consultant for life.